In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool newspaper slide effect where the article flies into the screen and then you highlight the title. Now, the cool thing is we're going to make it entirely from scratch so you can create any article that you want about any topic that you like. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, I'm using a, a video format. You can use presentation or video, that doesn't matter. Let's first start by adding the background image. So go to elements and here we type in wooden table. We go to photos, see all and then choose any table that you like. You can select it, add it to the screen, and then just fill it until it fills the entire canvas. Now this one is quite light, so I'm going to edit it and make it slightly darker. So go to adjust, and then reduce the brightness a bit. Let's increase the contrast until we get that nice dark brown that we want. There we go, I think this looks quite good. Next, we're going to look for a newspaper. So type in newspaper, texture and see what we can find photo see all and then scroll down maybe let's go for the graphic section i think that will be nicer and here i think this will be cool so it's a blank sheet of paper but with some layers on so that's what we want now let's increase it in size so it already fills quite a large part of the design there we go and now we're going to add some text so go to the text title let's call it the canva times and for the font, of course, we want something traditional. So let's go for a serif font, press enter and see if we find a nice one. So you can always try a few. I think this one here, the farmhand serif will be quite good. So I'm going to increase it until it covers the larger part of the newspaper. And let's press T again for maybe Saturday and date. On the next one, January 3rd, and let's put a date, 2009. Let's line it to the left, scale it down, put the line spacing just a bit closer for all of them. There we go. And give this a regular, let's try poppins, a normal font and then place it on the side. Now we're going to add a, another text box where we'd say newspaper, headline, and then of course, increase it in size. There we go. Let's increase it a bit more so it covers both sides nicely and place it down just a little bit. I'm going to press L to add a line and add that underneath the title and the headline. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can make sure it stretches from one side to the other. And maybe we just duplicate it for that two thin lines. You can always select them and give them slightly lighter weights, like three points. That looks quite realistic. Now I'm going to add a nice article here. So for that, I'm going to elements. You type in Paris, photos, select a nice picture of the Eiffel Tower and place it here on the left side of the image. Of course, in a newspaper, I think we want that black and white fill. So we're going to filters and then go for a either newspaper or look for one that nicely matches. And I think in our case, the newspaper will be Quite good. Let's go for this one, slate. Two text boxes to the slide. So one here and add some text. That's quite large. So I'm going to make it a lot smaller. Make sure the alignment is set to justify on both sides. And then just place it here. And let's copy that one more time. Same with the text box. So we have two columns. I think that looks realistic. Made it slightly smaller. Same with the image. And then just fit until it nicely fits the article or fits the page. So this is quite good. Now we're going to select everything except for the background. So all of the newspaper elements and control G or group them together. We're going to the bottom, right click and duplicate the page. And on the first one, select the newspaper, rotate it and let's drag it to the side. Don't release it entirely off the page, just leave that little gap. 
Now we're going to hover in between the pages, add transition, match a move, and duration to two seconds to preview that. And it's already nicely flies into the slide. So that's what we want. Now we want to add that highlight effect. And for that, we're going to highlight graphics. You can choose any that you like, or you can just create your own. That doesn't really matter. And then increase it over the text box that we want. Transparency and reduce that. Let's say about 50. And then we want to animate this and have a wipe. So we have that clean, reduce the speed, that clean writing effect on the slide. Since this is a video, we can make it appear a bit later. So let's shorten this here. Play the video. So as soon as the newspaper flies in nicely, it slides in, then we highlight the title. That's pretty cool. Now let's add some sound effects. So let's go to audio and let's type in paper slide. Envelope slide move will match nicely with the transition. So I'm going to add that to the timeline. Drop the music in here with the transition. Maybe a bit later, so I'm going to drag that right over the transition. That's cool. Now do the highlighter or the marker. That's what we want. And let's paste that under the animation. Let's see if we position it right. Maybe a bit earlier together with that one. And you can always reduce the volume or add a little bit of a fade in, fade out. I think that makes it feel more natural. Let's do the same here, fade in, fade out. And let's play that already. And this is how you can make this really cool newspaper headline in Canva in just a few minutes with an own personalized article, which is pretty cool.